Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is just another quick tip. Um, as you can see, I have a piece of paper here. And underneath is just, I've been uh, testing out all my Copics, seeing what is dried out, what isn't, that kind of thing. Um, so what I did was I took gesso. Now, here's a little uh, tip for you. When, you're, you, when you use gesso, and I know I'm going to have a, res a yeah, recipe coming up uh, on how to make your own gesso. You know, if you put it on, not ex extremely thick, but thick enough, and then take like a toothpick or the end of your paintbrush, go in and just do some texture because you know how you see everybody doing texture with their modeling paste molding paste whatever you call it i call it different names um so i will just go in like this and i'm going to dry it for you just so you can see and again you can go as thick or as thin as you want add a little water you can see some of the markers, because um, I did a lot of markers, not just my Copics. They ran a little bit. They weren't permanent, and you can see it just gave some colors. This will just be a background for me. So I'm going to give you really two good tips here. That's one of them. Let me dry this so I can show you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Can you see the texture? It's hard with the white on white, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paint and let's use some. I have all this dilution sitting here. Ugh. I'll just use this for today. Go in. Just gonna go in a little bit. And scrape it. And what you're gonna see, can you see the texture right there? Let's find another. Yeah, see that? I don't know how well, I'll lift it up. But what I'm gonna do, real quick, Look at that texture. Look at that. It would be nice if I was on camera. <laughs> this new program I have is a little rougher than I'm used to. I'm not real sure exactly how to get it to fall out or in yet. So I'm going to work on that today. But I was sitting here and I was like, you know what? I know a lot of you know these, and but there's so many new, uh, new of you to my channel, new to acrylic paint, mixed media. And this is a great way. So you can see I'm kind of scraping it a bit. Let's wonder if I'm fine with this. Okay. So you see, this is all texture. You can see it right there when I kind of move it. Look at all that delicious texture underneath there. And that starts your mixed media background, doesn't it? Isn't that great? And then you can go in with as many colors as you want. I'm just going to give it a quick over. Now, let's say you want a little more texture to show, okay? And you don't want to put a lot of your gesso or whatever. Maybe you only want to do two coats of, you know, you want this turquoise color to be your base coat, but you want some of that base color coming through. And you can use whatever color gesso you uh, want. You just mix a little color in there. What I will do is take, you know, a little paper towel, art rag, whatever you have, and very lightly, you leave it dry for a second. You don't want it to dry too much, but you don't want it to be, you know, soap and sop and wet. And if you just kind of scrape some of that away, you'll be able to see a little bit too wet still. There you go. You see, I'm just dragging it. And the drier it is, the you know, you don't want to fully dry, but you can see that texture, see that texture in there coming out? So you have that little bit of the color underneath and you leave it dry a little bit more. You can spray a little water on it if you're very daring, which, you know, I spray water on everything. 
And when you go to wipe it away, I think my gesso might have been still a little, little wet, but you can see underneath the white coming through. It's, uh, you could just sit and play for hours. Play for hours. And look, I'm just using my plastic. I don't even know what brand it is. I don't even know. Could be plaid. No idea. But everybody has them. You could use a credit card as well. And the more I scrape away, let me see if I can use my Mod Podge scraper here. Yeah. Yeah, and it's taking that paint off. Oh, God, I love mixed media. And you wipe it every so often. Go this way. Again, old Mac card, uh, ATM, we used to call them Mac cards back in the day. Anybody else know what a Mac card is? And then what begins to happen? Don't be afraid because you can always add more paint. It's not, you know, a big deal. But this is what I love right here. Let's see if I scrape it one more time. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll go on to my real quick next one. But look at that. Look at that. You see how delicious that looks? Oh, gosh. That is so, it, it just gives you a really great background. So, I'm going to dry it real quick. I'll just dry this piece. Now, a lot of you guys don't have gel pens and you don't have things you have a hard time writing over backgrounds. So this tip is a real good one. Okay. okay. Go to your local dollar store, or you might even have these at home. They are the whiteouts. Now this is a big one, but of course, Use whatever you can find. Like I said, I know the dollar stores have them. Sometimes you can get them in a pack of three. So I'm going to go shank. Always make sure when you're done with these, as well as your markers and pens, especially when writing on acrylic paint, you know, you just give it a wipe. Look at this. A wipe off. <laughs> okay. Give her a squeeze. And then, come on, baby. There you go. Look at that. As opaque and delicious. And then you just wipe this. This is a little peewee one, but you can get bigger ones. And look at that. I mean, that is opaque. And all that is, is a corrector. <laughs> Let me read exactly what it is so you guys know. This is called a mini shake and squeeze correction pen. Now you don't need to, like I said, get a brand name. You could get these at the dollar store, but look. How awesome. So that is the tip, as well as using your gesso, but how to get a very nice opaque writing. You could do marks with this. You could do whatever you want. So I hope this was helpful. Let's hope this recorded uh, so I can get this up and play with this a little bit more. You have to bear with me just a little longer till I learn this program. It's a bit different than the one I was using before, but as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting and I love you guys. Keep sending your questions and I'm going to keep giving you a little, uh, you know, answers in these little tidbits. I hope you enjoy these and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.